praise on this resurrection Sunday morning. Come on, if you're happy for Jesus, give God glory. Come on, bless his name. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. God, this morning, we just come here to say thank you. Thank you for being such a good God. You've been better to us than we can have been to ourselves. And so, God, even in the service this morning, we extol you. We bless you. We magnify you. We adore you. You're an awesome God. You're majestic in all your ways. 
your omnipresent hallelujah God and we say have your way in the service today Lord do what you do best God heal deliver and set free and God we give you praise for those things that you've done even before our eyes God we've seen miracle after miracle we've seen your power manifest even before us and so God we say thank you Come on, church, we say thank you this morning. Thank you. Glory to God. And so, God, we pray that even on this Resurrection Sunday morning, God, that we will come to know you in an even more and powerful way. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Every heart said amen. Amen. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16, when the Sabbath was, old, was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place that they laid him. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. 
So glad you did. 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 Come on and clap your hands and say, Lord, you made a way. Out of no way. Just tell somebody, I'm so glad that he did. I'm so glad that he did. Everybody on your feet. You all know this song. We're going to lift it up to the Lord this morning. If you don't know it, just clap your hands. It says, we sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king, for he's the king of kings. Let's go. We sing the praises to our king, for he is the king of kings. I see you. Come on, let's go. For he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king. For he's the king of kings. Give him glory. Give him glory. For he's the king of kings. Give him glory. For he's the king of kings. Give him glory. For he is the king. Give him glory. For he's the king of kings. Come on. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. Come on. We sing the praises to our king. Hallelujah. For he is the king All praises be to the king. Come on, everybody give him glory. Give him glory. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Give him glory. Come on, all hail King Jesus. All hail King Jesus.
if you know it reigns forever. Come on, if you know it reigns forever, come on, clap those hands and give the Lord a real praise this morning. Come on, if you know it reigns forever, clap those hands and give the Lord a real praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift those hands and worship him today. Come on, come on. Out of the abundance of the, the mouth, the, the heart, the mouth speaks. Come on, what's in your heart toward the Lord on today, on this Resurrection Sunday? We bless the King of kings and the Lord of lords with our worship, with our praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift your name on high. Hallelujah. We bless your name today. We honor you. We bless your name today for what you did at the cross of Calvary. Can't compare, hallelujah, glory to God with anything else in our life. Father, you gave us salvation. And for that, we bless your name. We glorify you. Come on, open up your own mouth and bless him, worship him, honor him, extol him, glorify him. Come on, he is the king of all kings and the Lord of all lords. We bless his holy, righteous name on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, let thanksgiving come from your heart. Let thanksgiving come from your mouth. Let thanksgiving come from the very sense and source of your life. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless your name today. We bless your name today. We bless your name today. Hallelujah. We worship you for who you are. We worship you today for what you've done. You died for me. Come on, come on. Open up your spirit today. You died for me. You set me free. We bless my soul with everything you did at the cross of Calvary. So we honor you today. We honor you today. Hallelujah. We honor you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands one more time for Jesus? Hallelujah. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Come on, you came from heaven, you came from heaven to work to show the way from the earth. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I live. Come on, you came from heaven to show from the earth to the cross. My debt from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Come on, if you got two hands today, come on, clap those hands in the house on this morning. Come on, bless them on Resurrection Sunday on today. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of all honor. He's worthy to be praised. Come on. You came from heaven to earth. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky. Come on, one more time. You came from heaven. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name. Come on, lift, lift, lift His name today. Lord, I lift your name on high. Higher. 
today come on bless him today come on bless him today I don't know about you but I came this morning to lift him high yeah. hallelujah he says if I and I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men unto me Hallelujah. Anybody came just to lift him up? Come on, he's already been resurrected. He already rose. But come on. Has he been resurrected in your heart? Has he been resurrected in your life? Has he been resurrected down in your soul? Come on, he rose from the grave. Now let him rise in you. Yeah. He rose from the grave. Come on, now let him rise in you on this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, there's not many things that will... Hallelujah. Give God a rise. But I'm telling you, when you worship him, when you praise him, when you adore him, when you extol his name, hallelujah, when you go to speaking well of him, hallelujah, you get God's attention because he said that he inhabits the praises of his people. You start praising God and it invokes the presence of God to come to wherever you are. Come on, somebody bless the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, I got two reasons to bless him today. Hallelujah. Number one, it's Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's Resurrection Sunday. And, and then number two, Sister Paula Small Warren is in church on this one. Well, if you want to praise him, go ahead and praise him. Come on. Come on. If you want to thank him, go ahead and thank him. Come on. Take 30 seconds and bless him for Jesus on this If she would testify on this morning, she would tell you that the Lord has brought her from a mighty long way.
Thank God, hey. Jesus. Well, come on, take 60 seconds and bless the Lord this morning. Come on, give God a praise. Come on and bless the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless the saints on this morning. To all of you that are visiting with us on this morning, we, we welcome you to the new first church of God in Christ. Amen. We welcome you to another worship experience, and hallelujah, today is an even better experience because it's Resurrection Sunday. This is the day, hallelujah, this is the day where all of America pauses, hallelujah, where all the world pauses, hallelujah. Christians around the world will honor and love the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, and it's so apropos for us as believers. Come on, this Resurrection Sunday, to me, which is the greatest day, hallelujah, on the Christian calendar, hallelujah, because had he not arose from the dead, hallelujah, there would be no reason for us to even be where we are on today. Hallelujah. Can we praise God one more time for Jesus? On this, on this Resurrection Sunday, we have some wonderful young uh, children that are going to come and welcome us into this service. I know you already feel welcome, hallelujah, but ain't nothing like, amen, children being a blessing to us on this morning, hallelujah. And I thank God for uh, Jasmine and Stephen Flowers who have been uh, coming to this ministry and have been faithful to this ministry these last few months, and thank God for their babies, amen. Hallelujah. So um, I'm going to call, um, I believe Charlotte is going to come. Amen. Charlotte's going to come and she, mom might have to bring her, but she's coming. Amen. Charlotte is going to come and she's going to welcome us on this morning. Praise God for Charlotte Flowers. Thank you. Say good morning. Happy Easter. Well, sincere is coming. Next, he's full of life over there. And uh Kairos going to close it out. God made it. 
God made me. He made the world for us to see. God loves you, and long ago, he sent his son to tell us so. Jesus showed us many things to love and share and dance and sing, to learn and pray, to help and care. He promised he always be there. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't go. I want, I want all of the children, all the children, all the children here. Y'all come up to the stage. All of the children, real quick, real quick. All the children. Any child that got a voice to sing, we're going we gonna to sing together this morning. Come on, parents. You can bring them with you. Stand her right here. Stand her right here. I'm um, probably I'm um, probably I need to. Okay. You want your snack? Nobody. Nobody not come up. No! 
Some of y'all act like y'all don't know he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. And I know it. And I know it. Jesus died. Jesus died. And he rose again. And he rose again. He's alive. He's alive. And I know it. And we know it. Jesus died. And he rose again. He's alive. And I know it. Jesus died, and he rose again, and he rose again. Come on, clap those hands for these wonderful children on this morning. Y'all can do better than that. Come on, welcome and encourage these babies on this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless every one of you that are here with us on this Resurrection Sunday, and I give honor to the leadership of this house, to all of our elders, to our deacons, to a man, our deaconess, missionaries, and mothers, and to all of you that are with us on this morning, we also praise God for our uh, First Lady, Lady Shamika Sanders on this morning. Thank God for her. Amen. And um, God bless every one of you. Let's prepare hearts for giving on this morning. Let's prepare hearts for giving on this morning. If you are a tither, amen, this is the time that we receive our tithe, amen. This is the time that uh, we bring back that which God has blessed us with. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in his word in Malachi, the third chapter, he says, bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse that they may be meat in my house. And he tells us, prove me now herewith, amen, with what? With your tithe and your offering. My tithe says, Lord, I trust you, amen. My offering tells him how much I love him. I'm going to say that one more time. My tithe says, Lord, I trust you. My tithe says that, amen, my job is not my source, but God, you are my source, and for that, we thank you. For that, we praise you. And we thank God for those of you that are faithful in your tithing, those that are faithful in their giving on today. And um, why don't you pr uh, stand to your feet on this morning. Everyone rest on your feet. Everyone rest on your feet. Amen. And let's prepare hearts to give. Amen. This is still part of worship, and I'm asking that everyone, amen, please hold your voice, amen, in this time. We are in worship. We're worshiping God with the spirit of giving on today. Amen. So this is just as reverent as any other part of our service. Amen. And I want you to know that when you give, hallelujah, God plants a bright way of blessing. Amen. In your life, though this seed may leave your hand, but it will never leave your life because it goes into your future to plant a bright way of blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Lift that seed up before the Lord. Lift that seed up before the Lord, everyone. Lift that seed up before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And just repeat after me. This is not a dead I owe. But a seed I sow. I sow my seed in faith. Therefore, my fruit will remain. My seed will not yield before its season. Come on, say it. My seed will not yield before its season. For just as you're the Lord of this seed, you're the Lord of my harvest. It qualifies me to say, I am the head and never the tail. I'm never beneath. I'm always an overcomer. I'm blessed in the city. And I'm blessed in the field. 
I decree right now what God has blessed. No man can curse. I live in the realm of the expectant. I'm a prosperous people, a 100% tither. Come on, shout, I am increased a thousand times more than I am right now in Jesus' name. Father, I bless the gift and the giver, the seed and the sower. And Father, even as we come giving, Father, we don't give to get, but receiving comes with the territory of our salvation. For this, we say thank you. In the matchless mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Listen, at the instructions of our ushers, you're going to go down the center aisle. You're going to walk down the center aisle and go back around to your seat as you sow your seed if you desire to give. Amen. Don't let anybody walk over you. Come on and sow your seed on this morning. Tell somebody around and say, I don't know where I would be if Jesus had not died for me. No, no, come on, tell somebody. Some of y'all ain't looked at nobody or talked to nobody all week long. Come on, tell them, I don't know where I would be if Jesus had not died for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless every one of you. God bless your giving on this morning. Thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Glad to have Elder Robert Jones with us on this morning. God bless you. Amen. So many, so many uh, visitors and guests that we have with us. Amen. I'm grateful to see um, Katrina Robinson and her family. Amen. We're lifting her up in prayer. Amen. In the loss of her mom. Amen. We know that God is, amen, the lifter of broken hearts. Amen. And give you peace in the midst of a storm. Hallelujah. And so many that, that are here. Good to see Ms. Benson. Amen. And Mikey on this morning. I'm not going to start calling names. I'm going to get ready to mess up. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Hallelujah. Grab your Bibles. Amen. Glad to see 
uh, Ms. Vernita Wiggins and her son Arthur with us. Amen. She had death in her family recently as well, and we're lifting her family up as well. Amen. Pray for my cousin, um, Pastor Glennis Sanders, and the death of her husband, Roland Sanders. Um, his service will be held this Wednesday at Monument of Faith. Yes, his name is Roland Sanders. Amen. That's not me. That was him. Amen. But, uh, amen. I'm, I'm still here. I tell somebody, say, he's here. He's, he's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Keith, I'm still here. I'm still here. Hallelujah. Grab your Bibles. We're going quickly to the word of the Lord. Quickly to the word of the Lord. Matthew's gospel, the 27th chapter of Matthew. 27th chapter of Matthew. 29th through the 32nd verses. Matthew's gospel, the 27th chapter. Amen. If you're visiting us today, amen, please don't leave without us greeting you. I'll be standing down here with Lady Shamika to just at least shake your hand to um, thank you again for worshiping with us on this, the Lord's Day. Amen. Put a finger over in 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, and 6 through the 10th verse as well. Matthew 27, 29 through 32. And then 1 Corinthians 2, 6 through 10. Amen. We didn't have word on Wednesday on this past Wednesday, so we're going to have word on Sunday. Is that all right? Amen. Just got a lot of teaching that I want to just share with you on this morning. Amen. When you have it, say, I have his word. Matthew 27, 29 through 32. We can read it together. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off of him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. First Corinthians, the second chapter, six through the 10th verse. First Corinthians, the second chapter, the six through the 10th verse. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that came to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Father God, I thank you right now for this time of sharing. Thank you for people with listening ears and open hearts. Speak to us on today as we speak to your people. Father, let this word become seed and let this seed become a bountiful harvest. In the matchless mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let every glad heart say amen. Before you sit down, why don't you shout this text or this topic with me on this morning, from thorns to triumph. Come on, shout it one more time, from thorns to triumph. You can be seated in his presence. Some of you, without me saying any words outside of our text this morning, you can relate to this subject on this morning because some of us we've had some thorny places in our lives some of us have had some <clears throat> some thorny places to the place that it didn't even look like we were going to make it out but um you know uh, elder keith heron just finished playing a song that says that i am still here because i'm kept by the grace of god you, you know, sometimes we just got to, we need to just know when to shout, hallelujah. We need to know when to just yell, know when to run, hallelujah. Know when to throw a pocketbook, glory to God, or a link card with a code on it. I am still here because I've been kept by the grace of God. Bible, it opens up, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of exegeting of these texts because just time won't allow, but when you look at what he's saying here, it says, and when they had plaited a crown of thorns, 
they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and bowed the knee before him. And even in bowing the knee, listen to me carefully, they were bowing the knee that they might mock him. But little did they know what the scripture said, that every knee shall bow. And every tongue of the Caldwell shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. They could be playing back then, but they're not going to play when he comes back again. Can I just teach a few minutes? He says, hallelujah, they smote him on the head after they took the reed from his hand. And after they mocked him again, taking off the silk robe, the purple the, the, that represented uh, kingship. They took that from off of him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. Glory to God. But you got to understand uh, the, 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 the part that most of us we leave out is that 32nd verse. And it says, and they came out and they found a man. Why did they have to find a man? Because they had beat Jesus to the point that he could not even bear his own cross. They had beaten him to the point of his weakness where he could not carry his own cross. And that's where uh, this man, Thomas Shepard, wrote a song back in 1693. Must Jesus bear his cross alone? And all the world go free. No, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon of Serene may have carried Jesus' cross. But let me help you on today. Every one of us, we have a cross to bear. He opens us up to this second text that declares, How be it? We speak the wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world. We speak the wisdom. Do you not know that God has the ability to download some things into your spirit that some of the smartest folk in your life can't figure out what the Lord is saying? He, oh my God, he, God will put some things in your life. God will give you creative abilities and ingenuities that will perplex everybody and everything around you. Do you not know that God can make you smarter than everybody in your own family I know some of y'all said I am the smartest one in my family I'm gonna leave that alone catch this catch this he says how be it we speak the wisdom among them that are perfect yet not the wisdom of this world I love God because God will give you some stuff that did not come from your college did not come from your high school did not come from your book reading God will download you something from the Holy Ghost that will blow everybody's mind he said, I don't speak to you from the wisdom of the world nor the princes of this world that come to naught because everybody, I don't care how smart they were or how smart they are, everybody has to go the way of the cross. Listen, when you die, you're going to take all them smarts to the grave with you. I'm going to keep on talking. Come on, when you die, my God, you can put your diplomas and your onion skin in the coffin with you if you want to, but when you close your eyes, your degrees and your smart and your ingenuity it's not going to do you a bit of good no somebody elbow them real good say you better work with it while you got it he said but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the foundation of the world unto our glory catch this which none of the princes or the hierarchy of this world knew for had they known it, had they known it, can I, can I go right 59th Street? Had they knew it, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. If they knew what they were getting ready to set up for you and for me, Mother Benton, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. Glory to God, he says, but it is written that I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of men the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God, somebody shout, but God. But God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. 
You, you got to understand, people of God, we don't, as believers, wait to celebrate Jesus on Easter or Resurrection Sunday. We celebrate his resurrection every day. Can I say it one more time? Listen, well, let me, let me say it personally. I don't celebrate, hallelujah, Jesus on Easter Sunday or just Resurrection Sunday, but I celebrate his resurrection in me every day. I don't, I don't need an Easter ham. Listen, I don't need a Thanksgiving turkey. Come Come on, as a matter of fact, what did a bunny rabbit have to do with Jesus Christ? Come on, bunny rabbits, can I help you? And I hope I'm not busting nobody out. I don't know what you told your kids, but bunny rabbits, don't, they don't lay colored eggs. They don't lay colored eggs. Do they lay eggs at all? Thank you. I'm just testing y'all. I'm testing. I'm testing them, Kenyatta. They don't lay eggs at all. I don't know. Can I help you on today? It's just a distraction from what the day really is all about. Satan will want to distract you from what the day is really all about. It's just like the Santa Claus. What does he have to do with Christmas? Yeah, yeah, I know you want to plug your kids' ears, but what does Santa have to do with Christmas? It's just a distraction. Come on, from the trees to the, to the gifts to the this and to the that. Every day in the life of a believer should be a day of thanksgiving somebody say lord i thank you god's word tells us in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you and can i help you as i hurry on this morning the enemy wants to distract you from the true revelation of who jesus is that's why they thought they were doing him hallelujah a, a, a real punishing act when they crucified Jesus. But you have to remind the devil, you're not stopping God's will, you're just promoting it. Satan can't stop the will of God. Preached a message years ago that my haters helped me. It, it, it's, it's amazing that some folk, they so against your life that they want to scandalize your name. They want to assassinate your character. They want to put you down. They want to do as much harm as they can to you. But listen, you got to understand what the word says in Genesis 50, uh, 20. He says what Satan meant for evil, God will turn that thing around and make it for my good. You got to understand, people of God, that listen, you may look like you're going through something. Uh, but listen, you got to understand it in the revelation by the Holy Ghost. You ain't going through, you on your way out. You have to remind the devil... You're not stopping the plan of God. You're only promoting it. And uh, when you look at the scripture and you read the resurrection story real good, you got to understand God is saying, listen, I'm just getting started. Uh, come on, tell somebody, say, God just getting started. Come on, he, he's, he's just warming up. He's just warming up. Hallelujah. When you look at this passage in, in 1 Corinthians, how it says to us, glory to God, for if they had known it, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. Would you not believe that your enemies would have left you alone had they known that all of the hurt and the harm that they were trying to do for you was only setting you up for a greater blessing by God? Come on, they would have not bothered you as much if they had known they were trying to block your promotion but God had already given you the promotion and you can't stop what God has already done my God you better understand people of God according to Isaiah 54 17 that no weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper and every tongue that rises against you it's already been condemned talk about me I don't care you know what it means when they talk about me brother Ken it only means that you got me on your mind I'm renting free headspace in your mind for free. You just, you just, you just thinking about me. You just thinking about me. It says, for if they had known, if they had knew 
who Jesus was, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can y'all shout the subject one more time? Come on, say from thorns to triumph. And understand that, that, that if you're going through a thorny place, anybody ever been through a thorny place? Uh, I, I was so blessed last Sunday as Mother Geraldine Smith was preaching about the uh, triumphant entry. And, um, you know, when you talk about the triumphant entry, everybody was happy. They were, they were, they were tearing down, uh, tearing down uh, bushes and, and palm branch and branches. And they were taking off the cloaks and throwing them in the roadway to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. And then you mean to tell me that one week later, now he is in a thorny place? Catch this, catch this, and I got to move. But if you're going, hallelujah, to get through a thorny place, you need three things. You see, the Bible tells us in, in this passage of 1 Corinthians, he says, But it is written, I have not seen, nor it heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of men the things which God has prepared for them that love him. He says, But God have revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. And so if you're going to get through a thorny place, you really need three things probably four but listen can I just bounce on three of them on this morning number one you need a seeing eye number two you need a hearing ear hallelujah and number three you need a believing heart come on class can you repeat it after me say a seeing eye, seeing eye. a hearing ear hearing. and a believing heart and all of these have to be linked to the spirit because if they're not linked to the Spirit of God, listen, all of us, hallelujah, unless you're blind, you have eyes. All of us, unless you're deaf, you have ears. But come on, all of us don't have a believing heart. That, that, that's why God tells us that that believing heart, that hearing ear, and that seeing eye has to be linked to the power of the Spirit. Because everybody that can see can see. Everybody that can hear can hear but everybody don't, my God, they don't always believe what he says. Because, catch this, you got to move, you got to understand that God is speaking, but while God is speaking, a whole lot of us, we're not believing. I can preach all day long until I'm blue in the face. Some of us going to leave out of here and keep living the way we're living in spite of what you heard this morning. Can I help you? Come on. We got a whole lot of educators in the room and we know that just because we're teaching in the class, it don't mean, oh my God, it don't mean that the kid's receiving. Come on, you look at them report cards. Do they still say that? You look at them grades. Come on, look in power school and you'll find because of all of those Fs, they may show up to the building, but they ain't showing up to the learning. Oh, I, I need some help this day. All of these, somebody say all of these. <laughs> all of these have to be linked to the spirit. And they wish that they would have known, hallelujah, that they were crucifying the Lord of glory. You know, uh, a message I, I, I preached years ago, it was, I thank God for ignorance. A lot of us, we don't, we don't thank God for ignorance. But I thank God for them being ignorant. Depending on what side of the tracks you come from, you don't say ignorant, you say ignorant. I thank God for ignorant folk. Because if they knew what God had planned for your life, if Satan only knew, see, Satan don't know too much of anything. Most of what he knows is what you give him to know. But if they had known the plan that God has prepared and predestined and prepaid and predesigned for your life, they would not, glory to God, mess with you so much. Yeah, if they had known what Jesus was getting ready to do after the cross, they would have never, ever crucified him. Somebody say amen in this house. You got to understand that, listen... Folk, they bother you because they think that they are adversely affecting you. They don't know that you're about to go from thorns to triumph. Can I just teach a few minutes? 
They don't know that what they're doing is only promoting the plan of God in your life. Prove it to me, Bishop Sanders. Uh, he says to us in Exodus, the first chapter, he says, Now there arose up a new king in Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the children of Israel, they are more and mightier than we. So come now, let us deal with them wisely, lest they multiply and come to pass that when we fall out to war, that they join up with our enemies and overcome us. So the Bible says that they set taskmasters over them to afflict them and to my God, great in their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities and Python and Ramses. But the Bible says, listen to it. He says, the more that they afflicted them, the more they grew. The more that they afflicted them, the mightier they became. Can you imagine, my God, somebody's messing with you. And the more they mess with you, the more they bother you, the stronger you become. My God, the more that they come against you, the more God bless is you. Do you not know that if you bother, my God, a believer, you are bothering God. You got to understand, can I take you back to the schoolhouse? If you mess with me, you got to mess with all of them. See, some of y'all didn't grow up like that. Come on. You, you, you got into a fight. You was in that thing all by your lonesome. But then some of us, we grew up straight hood. Come my God. If you fought my brother, you got to fight my whole family. Come on. If you mess with my sister, come on, you got to... You got to fight the whole tribe. It ain't, it ain't just me. Uh, my God, let me tell you what the Lord said. He says, if you mess with my son or if you mess with my daughter, you're messing with me, God. If you mess over my children, uh, the Bible says that you might as well have a millstone tied about your neck and jump into a lake, my God, because he says, don't bother the least of them uh, because the least of them belong to me. Somebody say amen. Goliath wished he would have known that David had been anointed. Uh, he looked at David like he was a little boy, but little did he know, hallelujah, tell somebody, say, that's more to me than what you see. Uh, my God, he didn't know that David had been anointed to be king, uh, but David had also been anointed with some whoop behind. What is whoop behind? You mess with me, uh, God will anoint me uh, to whoop your behind. Hi, God. Mother Crims, I didn't grow up as no fighter. My dad didn't teach me how to throw them hands. He, he taught me to praise God, love God's people. He, did, he didn't teach me to throw them dukes, so I had to learn how to do it on my own. And yeah, y'all might not like it, but I didn't get no good jab, but I had a real windmill. That windmill gonna catch you. <laughs> That windmill, that windmill gonna hit some brother Keith. That windmill gonna knock a couple of brothers out. I'm... David had, my God, five smooth stones and one slingshot, but the stones were anointed and the slingshot was anointed and his hand was anointed. Tell somebody, say, you better watch me. I'm anointed. I'm a. I got to go, but the enemy can't stop what God has sanctioned. Can't, my God, Satan cannot curse what God has blessed. I told you that you need three elements to get through your stony places because you better understand that there are three elements that cause suffering in the life of every believer. Well, Bishop Sanders, what are they? They are people, places, and things. Romans says it best one of my favorite scriptures, he says, well, I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that God wants to reveal in us. He says it doesn't compare with the glory, here's a promise, that shall be revealed in us. It was some thorny places and some thorny things, if I got a witness in the house, that gave some of us victory. Tell your neighbor, say, it was that thorny place. Uh huh. It, it was that thorny thing that gave me victory. My God, as a matter of fact, it was also some thorny, thorny people that really thought that they were sticking it to you. If they had anybody that was trying to stick it to you. 
Somebody said they still trying. They just didn't know that God was only using them to mature you in him. God took those thorny places, some of those thorny things and some thorny people, hallelujah, and he took the stumbling blocks and he made them stepping stones. As a matter of fact, as I hurry to a close because somebody got a ham or a roast in the oven, David said it was good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn the statutes of the Lord my God. Hallelujah. But Jesus said it even better. He says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. They don't know that they're messing with me and while they're messing with me they're messing with you he says father forgive them go back to good friday service and let it bless you hallelujah he also said hallelujah on the cross he said to the thief on his right hand he says this day somebody shout this day he says this day thou shalt be with me in paradise when was the last time you paused your suffering to bless somebody else. A lot of times when you're going through, you don't want to be bothered with nobody. Maybe, maybe that's just my testimony. When you're going through, you don't want to be bothered with nobody. Hey, when was the last time you paused your going through? When you paused for your pain, and, hallelujah, to minister to somebody else. God knows you're going through, but hallelujah, how many of us are willing to stop dying so somebody else can live? Jesus told him, you got to deal with the other side. The thief on the left, he says, if you be the son of God, get us out of here. Some folk just want a way out. While other folk want a way in. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all always want a way out. You always, you always want to eat. You no, know, somebody said, why do you always want the easy way out? The thief on the right hand, he says, I know why I'm hanging here. He says, I know why I'm being crucified. I know why they're putting me to death. He said, but I know of a certainty that you are the Christ. And he says, if thou be the Christ, the son of God, he said, my God, he says, I need to be saved. My God, and Jesus told him, he says, this day, somebody shout this day, I got to move. This day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. As I come to a close, glory to God, at least my second close, oh my God. He says last week that they cried Hosanna, but just a few days later, now they're crying crucify him. Ain't that just like some of our friends? Let me say it like this. Isn't that just like some of our thorny friends? They building you up today. But they tearing you down tomorrow. Come on, they celebrate your promotion today, but they got their mouth on you tomorrow. They're celebrating your new car even while they're still on the bus. But come on, give them a few days and they still on the bus stop and you still driving around the block. Glory to God. Give them a few days when you, you get your new house and they ain't got one quite yet. My God, some folk will tear you down just because of the level of blessing that you're walking in. But you got to know, glory to God, that God is on his way to taking you from thorns to triumph. And Jesus asked his disciples, uh, he says, who do men say I the son of man am? Y'all know the story? Hallelujah. You know the story? The Bible says that Peter, the most unlikely one, he says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus told him, he says, flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you, but only my father, which is in heaven. And the Bible says, read it for yourself in your spare time, that he went on just a few verses and Jesus began to tell him, he said that I must die and I'm going to be crucified by men. Glory to God. And Peter, he says, be it far from thee, Lord. And when he says, be it far from thee, Lord, read your Sunday school book. He says, my God, Jesus told him, he said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you or get thee behind me, Satan. He told Peter, he says, get behind me. In other words, you don't fully understand. How is it that in one verse, you got a revelation of who Jesus is? But then a few verses later, you don't have a clue. I'm going to tell you why. It's because we believe in our heads. But we don't believe in our hearts. Help us today, Lord. Oh, yeah, I, I know I'm going through in my head. But in my heart, I don't know how I'm coming out. 
I, I know that, that, that God loves me in my head, but do you really re realize how much he loves you in your heart? I know I lost all of y'all, but you got to catch this, catch this, catch this. He says to us today, he said that I must die and be crucified of men. And the same Peter that he had just told upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That same Peter, he began to tell Jesus, he says, be it far from thee, Lord. And Jesus had to tell Peter, his beloved disciple, he said, my God, you are working by the power of Satan. What are you saying, Bishop Sanders? I'm saying just like you have a revelation of who he is, you can get in your flesh just that quick. Look at what he says, and I'm done. Jesus had already told his disciples that he was going to be put to death. But he said in Matthew 16, 21, he says on the third day, somebody say the third day. He says on the third day, I'm going to rise again. You don't believe my words, my God, if you don't believe what I'm saying, if you don't believe what I'm saying, if you don't catch what I'm saying, you might be thorny. I said this in Sunday school last week. I said, isn't it amazing that roses look so beautiful? At least the top of them. But that stem, somebody say that stem. That stem is full of thorns. How can you have beauty and pain in the same place? Oh, that's good, Bishop Sanders. You ain't got to say nothing. I got a bucket full of amens down on the inside. Uh, my God, that, 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 that's, that's why, that's why, my God, you can't put confidence in man. Oh, okay, I, I'm running out of time. That's why you can't put confidence in man. They, they will promote you today and try to demote you on tomorrow. They will give you pomp and circumstance today, but they will deflate you on tomorrow. While the enemy is handcrafting a plan for your destruction. I came to tell you on this Resurrection Sunday that the hand of God is working on your development. Let me say it one more time. While the enemy, my God, has a handcraft crafted plan for your destruction the hand of God is working on your development prove it to me Bishop Sanders he says as I close today in Matthew 27 he says and when they plaited a crown of thorns and they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed their knee to just mock him and they begin to say, hell, king of the Jews. And they then begin to spit upon him and took the reed and begin to beat him on his head. The Bible says that after that, they mocked him. They took his purple robe off of him and put his own raiment on and led him away to be crucified. I heard the Lord say to me, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Tell your neighbor, say, you got some get back coming. My, you got to understand when somebody does you wrong, you ain't got to do wrong back. When somebody speaks evil against you, you need to render good for their evil when somebody comes against you the Bible says love your enemies and bless your enemies so, so I come to tell you as I land this thing on this morning be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap they did not know that they were taking my God they were taking Jesus from thorns to a triumph and victory yeah he may have had triumph on last Sunday but that's what I call surface triumph that's what I call a whole lot of talking noise that's what I call somebody bringing you roses that's what I call somebody celebrating you but they celebrate you with their mouth Huh, but they ain't celebrating you with their heart. Huh, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Huh, I need to know huh, how much do you love me? Huh, because if you love me, you'll love me in my good times. Huh, and you'll love me in my bad times. Huh, you'll love me in my thorny place. Huh, but you'll also love me in my triumphant place. Huh, they didn't know that they were taking him from thorns huh, to a triumphant victory. Huh, my God, as I land this thing this morning, huh, you need to know that he was hung on the cross uh, for my healing. Uh, he was hung on the cross uh, for 
my deliverance. He was hung on the cross for my redemption. He was hung on the cross for my breakthrough. Somebody said he was hung up for my hangups. But let my God today, let me close this thing like this. God told me to tell you, he was not just finished, but he was just getting started. When Jesus said, it is finished, he was only saying that the pain was finished, that the suffering was finished, that the, my God, the guy was finished. But he was only letting them know, God is just getting started. Tell your neighbor, God, he's just getting started. My God, when you understand, when you know what Jesus did, and when you know who Jesus is, you know that when he hung on the cross, he hung, my God, for every one of our sins. Blood was dripping down for every one of our sins. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Might have been thorny, but he was on his way to triumph. But when they put him in the grave, tell your neighbor, say, when they went in the grave, when they went into the grave, it just didn't stop at the grave. My God, my God, my God. When they put him in the grave, something happened at the grave. Tell your neighbor, say, oh, neighbor, I'm so glad Jesus got up out of the grave. I'm so glad God is still rolling stones away. I'm so glad that my God, what he said he did, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he has to repent. Jesus says, I'm going to die, but I'm getting back up on the third day. On the third day, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible says that he got up. But when he got up, huh, my God, he went into the grave, huh, rose from the dead, huh, went in the depths of hell. Huh. The Bible says huh, that he took the power huh, from the enemy. Huh. He took, my God, huh, the keys of life and death. Huh. He took back everything huh, that the enemy had stolen. Huh. Oh, death, huh, where is thy sting? Huh. Oh, grave, huh, where is thy victory? Huh. For the sting of death is sin. Huh. But the strength of sin is the law. Huh. But thanks be unto God huh, who giveth us victory huh, through Christ Jesus. Huh. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Huh. He rose huh, with all power. Huh. He rose huh, with all authority. Huh. He rose huh, with everything huh, in his hand. Huh. I'm not worried huh, about the thorns huh, because Jesus huh, just brought me triumph. Huh. Jesus huh, just brought me victory. Huh. I can deal with some thorns. Huh. They may stick huh, and they may prick, huh, but at the end of the day, huh, I'm on my way huh, to triumph and victory. Huh. I don't care what it looks like. Huh. I don't care what it feels like. Huh. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Huh. Stop getting moved huh, by your feelings. Huh. Get your feelings huh, out of the way. Huh. That's why some of us huh, are so easily offended huh, because we're in our feelings. Huh. But he says, I'm getting up huh, with all power. Huh. He didn't stay in the grave. Huh. He didn't stay on the cross. Huh. But he got up. Huh. Somebody say, he got up. Somebody shout, he got up with all power. He got up huh, with all glory. Huh. I came to tell you, huh, whatever you're going through, huh, there will be huh, glory after this. Huh. You might be sad. Huh. You might have lost a loved one. Huh, but there will huh, be glory huh, after this. Huh. Your man may have walked away from you. Huh. Your woman might have escaped. Huh, but there will be huh, glory after this. Huh. Hardhead kids. Huh, crazy co-workers huh, a wicked boss huh, but there will be huh, glory huh, after this huh, folk got their mouth on you huh, assassinating your character huh, putting your business in the street huh, but there will be huh, glory huh, after this huh, he rose huh, on the third day huh, he rose huh, with power huh, he rose huh, in majesty huh, he rose so he got up St 
Stand on your feet, everybody. Stand up, everybody. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of my faith, who for the joy that was set before him, somebody shout joy. joy. What joy? Didn't look like nothing joyous at the cross. He endured the cross, but he despised the shame. Where was the joy? The joy was you and me. The joy was your sons and your daughters. The joy was everybody in your family. The joy was all of your friends. Jesus felt the pain of the thorns, but he saw the triumphant of the cross. He felt the pain of the thorns, but he saw the joy that was set before him. Tell somebody, say, you the joy. I feel like Oprah Winfrey right now. You get joy, you get joy, you get joy. You get joy, you get joy. No, no, no. You don't get no car, but you get joy. You get joy. Come on. Point to somebody say, you get joy. You get joy. You get joy. The songwriter said, joy and pain. It's like sunshine and rain. But can I help you on today? The pain of tragedy does not compare with the glory of triumph. Why is that? Because weeping may endure for the night. Tell somebody, say, weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming. It might not come tomorrow. Might not come the next day. But tell your neighbor, say, on the third day. Woo! Somebody shout, on the third day. Joy is coming. Clap your hands, everybody. I gotta go. I gotta stop. Whatever you're going through right now, because of what Jesus did at the cross of Calvary, he's no longer on the cross. He's no longer in the grave. He's been resurrected, and he's resurrected in us. Come on, so lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, for the King of glory shall come here. For who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. Come on, somebody shout, he shall come in. That's what I need you to do. I need you to let him in. I need you to let him in. I need you to let them in. There's some of you in this place, you don't have a right relationship with God. God wants to save you more than you even know. It's simple. It's you confessing the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead. If you don't believe in his resurrection, you cannot be saved. Come on, say the resurrection is my everything. If you don't believe that he got up, you can't be saved. See, the confession was not just a confession of your sins. The confession was the confession of him being Lord and that God raised him from the dead. Lift those hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Our prayer today should be, Lord, I want more of you and less of me. Lord, I want to be used by you. Father, I need you to come into my heart. I need to be saved. And if you're in this place this morning, you say, Bishop Sanders, I don't, I don't know if I die, I will go to heaven. See, we always putting folk in heaven. But you can't put nobody in heaven and you can't keep nobody out of hell. The only one you can be self-assured of is yourself. It's only yourself. And so if you're in this place today and you say, Bishop, I, I want to I wanna get some self-assurance today. I want to give my life to the Lord. Today is the day that you heard his voice. So don't have a hard heart, but let the Lord come into your heart. And if you're here this morning, listen, I want you to make your way to this altar so that we can pray with you, pray over you, and take you through the steps of salvation. 
If you're watching us by social ministry on this morning, I, I need you to make up in your heart, make up in your mind that you want to give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. While we clap our hands, somebody needs to come to this altar. All that I need is in Jesus. He satisfies joy. He supplies life would be worthless without him all things in Jesus I, I find the joy that I need is in Jesus he satisfies that joy he supplies come on life life would be worthless without him all things in Jesus I I find come on with everyone today that says I want to give my life to the Lord Come on, if you're on social ministry and you say, Bishop Sanders, I want to get saved. I want to give my life to the Lord. Come on, just type, I'm giving my life to the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands up. Lift those hands up, everybody. Come on, declare with me. Say, Lord, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you raised Jesus from the dead. He is Lord of my life. Forgive me of every one of my sins cleanse me of all unrighteousness do for me that which I know I can't do for myself father you died for me come on say you died for me so I'm willing to live for you I thank you God for what you did on the cross of Calvary if you believe it come on clap those hands and bless the Lord father I thank you Come on, come on, celebrate him on today. Celebrate him on today. Come on, I would not leave this place the same. I don't want to leave this place the same. Come on, open up your mouth and say, Lord, I'm available. Lord, I'm available to you. My will. To you. I'll do, I'll do what you say. Do. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, Lord. to show someone. To show someone the way. And enable me. And enable me to say. Come on, lift your voice, everybody. My storage is empty. My storage. My storage is empty. I'm available. And I am available. My storage is empty. My storage is empty. And I'm available. And I am Come on, one more time. My storage. My storage is empty. I'm available. And I am available. To you. To you. Clap your hands, everybody. Listen, why don't you find two people that you didn't come to church with and tell them God has taken me from thorns to triumph. God has taken me from thorns to triumph. God has taken me from thorns. I'm available. I'm available. To you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. To you. Oh. My storage is empty. My storage. And I'm available. I am. And I am. To, to you, to you, to you. To you, to you, to you. Oh, my storage is empty. My 
My storage is empty. My storage is empty. And I'm available. And I am available to you. Hallelujah. Be seated, everyone. We're going home in just a moment. Going home in just a moment. We're going home in just a moment. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to ask everyone. I'm going to ask everyone that can and will. Listen, give the Lord a resurrection sacrificial seed on today. Give the Lord a resurrection sacrificial seed on today. I'm asking as many of you that can and will. Somebody can sow a seed of 100. Somebody can sow a seed of 50. Somebody can sow a seed of 20. But I, I want you to give the Lord your best seed. Whatever that is to you, give the Lord a seed of sacrifice this morning. Hallelujah. Everyone, get something in your hand. Everybody, get something in your hand. Hallelujah. My storage is empty. And I'm available. We're going home all together in just a moment, just a moment. Hallelujah. Let everyone get a sacrificial seed in your hand. My storage is empty. My storage is empty. I'm available. When you have that seed in your hand, won't you stand to your feet? When you have that seed in your hand, won't you stand to your feet? Hallelujah. My storage, my storage. My storage, my storage. Storage is empty, yes. My storage. Bishop Sanders, I don't, I don't have any tangible gift that I can give. Listen, if you, you want to give by your card or however you want to do it, but listen, the only people that are seated are the ones that say, Bishop, I don't, I don't have anything to give. Hallelujah. And, and that's all right. If you don't have anything to give, hallelujah, make sure that this week you sacrificially give of yourself. Your time, your, your, your talents. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Other than that, everyone stand with something in your hand. Thank you, Jesus. We, we have some, some, um, some treats for our, our children. Everybody say treats for children. Say, can, can you say children? Children, children, amen. I know, I know some of y'all sing the Toys R Us song. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. No, children, children. Thank God for Mother Pollard who um, purchased candy bags for our children, and um, we also have some other candy bags. And then thank God for Real Girls, a uh, nonprofit organization who sold all of these Easter baskets into our ministry for the children. Children. Amen. And um, listen, they're, they're, for the, they're for the children that are here. Amen. You, 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 have, to, you have to be kind of definite with it. Amen. Uh, they're for the children that are here. Amen. Lift that seat up to the Lord, everybody. Everyone stand. Everyone stand with something. Amen. If you don't have anything to give, stand out of obedience. Just stand and just repeat after me. Say, with this seed, Lord, you shall meet my need. If I eat my seed, I eat my harvest. But since I plant my seed in the fertile ground of ministry, not only do I praise you for my seed, but I praise you for my harvest. Come on, shout, I am increased a thousand times more than I am right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, start from the rear. Don't leave. We're going home all together. Thank God for Dr. Yuletta Pickett being with us on this morning. And Dr. Yohanse Pickett is in the, in the house. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God 
bless you, Mother Shepherd. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We're going home all together. We're, we're going home all together. This is what I want to do. Amen. I, I want, I want the, the smallest children first. Amen. Amen. The children. Amen. Come. I want all our children lined up in the center aisle. Amen. As we leave, are we still on, are, are we still on live? Amen. God bless you that are watching us. Amen. I pray that the rest of your day is the best of your day. New First Family, can we just thank God for our viewing audience on today? Hallelujah. God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm asking all of our children, come.